am Emma Weisberg and I'm the global CMO of Wade's Ads. If you think about it on a very, very practical level, it's do you have a physical store location? Because it's a driving app, right? We're in our cars and we are going places. So if you have a destination that can be one of our Wazers destinations, then that's what makes the most sense. So we really think about it as retail, uh, fuel or petrol, gas station, depending which region, you call it one of those, um, and quick serve restaurants. But one sort of Philippines-specific interesting point is retail is different from how we see it in France, for example, or how we see it in the U.S., because so much of retail is located within the mall. So it's sort of similar to what I was saying about the Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. where it's, uh, there's stores within another store, right? So within a broader mall location. And so that makes your strategies and your, the way you might approach your, your media and communication a little bit different here in the Philippines than you might do with retail in, in the U.S. or in Brazil or in France. Waze did an index and the Philippines was the worst traffic in the world, so I'm sorry to tell you that. But um, from an advertising standpoint, it does give you some opportunities. And when you are sort of spending more time in traffic, you might be looking for some of the more entertaining formats. So our voice is one of those. So brands can sponsor a voice and, and make uh, the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So when it says turn right at, you know, the, at the stoplight ahead, that could be a famous voice that's you know, sort of associated with a brand. That's an example of where you might do more of that in a location where there's more traffic and people are really looking for entertainment or a break on the road. So we are open voice and dialects and languages and localization, I guess I would say, localization. We consider ourselves hyper-local. A lot of that does come from the community I was talking about before. So our local community members help us to get the right language, the right translations, and wherever we can be more hyper-local and really speak to, to the person on the ground, we always try to do that. One is our community. So Waze has this really, you probably know, you've probably been a Wazer and you've contributed information back to the map, right? You've said, oh, I see a policeman there or there's a slowdown here. But the level of sort of engagement and passion that Wazers have is beyond what we see. It's a real community, right? And that means that they're very trusting of Waze and they're expecting to hear from us. And so they're also trusting of the brands that we put on the map with us. Uh, that's really number one. Number two is our data. So I mentioned before the context of the drive. Very few other platforms, in fact nobody really, understands that level of what is the mindset, what is happening on this journey. And they might know, so we all have our mobile phones in our pocket and we have a million companies who know where we are right now, but really only Waze knows where you're going. So what is that journey going to be like? And we can anticipate your needs and put the right message out there uh, at the right time. There's two main things I would say coming this year-ish. <laughs> uh, one on the advertising side, we're really, I mentioned in the beginning, if you have a physical location and you want to help make Wazers make you the destination, that is our focus. And we need to measure that, right? We need to prove to advertisers and brands who are investing in the platform that people did come to their store, right? More people walked in the door or more people came and spent money at their, at their store location. So measurement is, is something we're very focused on this year and we have several new products and offerings coming out in that space. And the other is, can Waze be a partner beyond media? And an example of that is our ETA is what we're known for best. Right? Estimated time of arrival. We have the most accurate one. So could we help someone like a quick serve restaurant or a retailer, let's say a grocery retailer, when people are ordering ahead, could we connect our apps on the back end? So let's say you're um, McDonald's and you have an order ahead function on the app. 
could the person who's ordering then be sent over to Waze to plan the drive so that Waze could then share the ETA back with McDonald's and they'll know exactly what time you're going to arrive so food never sits in the window and gets cold.